What's going on guys? It's your boy Rush and I'm back with a brand new video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the new ZRG 20mm sniper that dropped yesterday from the day I'm recording this video two days ago from the day this video is being uploaded. I just wanted to say first, if you guys enjoyed the clips at the beginning of the video, please like the video. I'd greatly appreciate it. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Every like and every subscribe uh, is super supportive and it helps my channel grow. So I greatly would appreciate if you did that. And uh, I'm going to talk about the new sniper as well as give you the best class setup for you to use in multiplayer. So I, I unlocked the gun today, earlier today, and I was, I've just been leveling it up. So I only have it at level 48, as you can see in the top right corner. So I don't have all the attachments. However, the attachments that you I pretty much have already is what you'll pretty much run anyways. But plus uh, a few exceptions so for the optic you're not gonna really run any of the optics i mean if you want you could do the axle arms three but i wouldn't recommend it i like the normal scope on it uh you wouldn't really add a muzzle not necessary for the barrel you don't need the strongest barrel like you would for the tundra or the you know the m82 or the pellington with this sniper it's already a one shot from the waist up and that's just as strong or if not stronger than all the other snipers uh, already so you don't need the strongest barrel however the fire rate is very slow the cockback between shots takes a while so i would recommend the rapid fire it makes it obviously 15 percent faster um, it's not necessarily fast, but it's a lot quicker than what it is without it. It's something I would recommend. If you don't trust me, believe me, I'd try it out yourself, but I highly recommend it. Um, everything else doesn't really necessarily matter, especially in multiplayer. Uh, for the body, I'd recommend the Tiger Team Spotlight. This just puts a red dot above people's heads when they're like within your screen range. So that way you could just like pick them off. Uh, like if it's like through like a little bit of like explosive smoke or and such so it's super helpful i really like this attachment i use it on all my snipers under barrel i wouldn't i don't really use under barrel i don't think you need them not that big of a deal and then you got your magazine without the five round you only have three bullets in the mag so I, that's why i'd recommend the five round it's reloads a bit slower than just a normal three but it's better better than just having three shots that's why you saw some of my clips at the beginning i'd get like two kills and then swap to my pellington right um and for the handle you would use the airborne elastic wrap i just don't have it yet I just want the attachment with the best ads time and this is the airborne elastic so i will equip it as soon as i unlock it um so currently you just you'd use the speed tape and then you'll use the sar the sasar jungle grip and then you'll use the serpent wrap and then you'll use the airborne elastic as you level it up and then as for this as for right now, I pretty much have this CQP, CQB pad. Uh, I'm going to use the Raider stock when I unlock it. This is what I'm using currently, but when I unlock the Raider stock, I will be using the Raider stock. So in the scenario of the handle in the stock, I recommend the Airborne Elastic Wrap and the Raider stock. Okay, I'm just using these two because obviously it just hasn't leveled up. The issue with the sniper is that it's too slow in terms of... ADS, when you get all the attachments, I believe is as fast as the Tundra, which is fine. Damage, fine. I can't actually the damage is incredible. I can't complain. Um, ADS is fine. It's whatever. We're just kind of used to it now with this game. However, the fire rate is very slow. It's you're unable to get an all singles quad feed, so you can't hit a quad feed with four bullets uh, on each person. You know, what I mean, it's just not fast enough for the kill feed. You'll only get three on the feed. The only way to get a proper quad feed is if you were to get a collateral in the meantime of like in between those kills that way it'd be like technically three shots um yeah that's it's just too slow uh reloads are quite it's quite slow so you can't get that and that's kind of my biggest issue is that you can't get like quad feeds with this gun unless you hit collats of some sort within the the clips However, the fun part is, is that because you know that you can't necessarily hit clips like that as often, um, it just makes you want to just go for the kills with it. And it's actually a lot of fun. It's quite enjoyable because it's, it is a change of pace. Like I have to change my play style a little bit, but I like still playing quite aggressive and still getting kills with it. It feels satisfying getting the kills with it. 
I think it's a lot of fun. Um, it's not a great sniper. Uh, you're better off using the Tundra or the Palanquin. It's definitely a much better option. Uh, this sniper just unfortunately doesn't cut it uh, for clip hitting. But if you're just trying to snipe, it's not a bad option. But you got the Tundra, which is just as good and much faster. So I'd recommend that or the Palanquin. Um, but if you want to change it up, switch a different weapon, it's not a bad choice. I would recommend using it. Um, and it's it's fun because since you can't necessarily go for quad feeds, you just want to go for like rapid fire, like like rapid succession kills, and go for like those frenzy kills and those perfectionists. Like you can't get a perfectionist medal per se, but you get five round mag, and it's fun when you try to get all five kills with the mag without missing and uh, that's kind of like the exciting part and if you do it fast enough and then that's kind of like your its own version of a clip or its own type of highlight is getting like a, that frenzy kill quite fast and swapping it with the palanquin as you've seen in my highlights is also really fun so that's just kind of my thoughts on the new sniper um i'm gonna use it a bit but i'm ma mainly gonna be using the tundra and the and the Pellington, to be honest, I guess what I would run mainly, but I mean, to each their own, it's definitely a fun gun to use for just the sake of just using it in something different, but it's not an optimal weapon to use. How it is in Warzone, there's tons of other video creators, content creators who made videos on it. I might, I might make a video on it as well, but again, I feel like your options are not necessarily this it wouldn't be your best bet i feel like you're better off using like the car 98 ax50 the tundra literally anything else but this gun but um but yeah that's that's everything i have to say about this video everything i have to say about this gun if you enjoyed this video and if you enjoyed the classes uh the class setup i gave you make sure to please like this video subscribe if you're new like i said comment down below what you think about this new sniper i'd like to hear your thoughts about it and i will catch you guys in next week's video and uh, yeah, peace.